right, folks, good afternoon. My name is Cesar Castillo. I'm the Mcore Business Development Manager. And today what we're going to do is show you how to mix the M4 5511 M-Creep Core Pack. So Steve will come over here. I'm going to show you how to mix this. We're actually going to use a paddle mixer. And the best way to do this really is to just go ahead and just pour a small amount into the bucket. Put in your paddle mixer and stir. Part B, pour it in here. You get as much of it as you can out of the uh, canister. And we're going to go back to mixing with the paddle mixer. And that's looking pretty good right there. Now what we recommend is when you put this on the concrete surface that you actually use some of the product as a wetting agent. And I'll give you an example. Take some of the product, just basically just kind of fill in the pores on the surface that you're going to put the product on. And you can put this as thick on a vertical surface, it can hang down about six to seven inches and it won't sag down on you. So that's basically what you want to do is wet the surface. It's almost like a self-priming. Self-priming. And you can make this as thick as you want. And we're actually going to come back here in about 24 hours so you can see how the product cured. So if you got spalling that's three or four inches thick, take the product and pack it as thick as you want. And like I said, we're going to come back here in about 24 hours. and you're going to see the adhesion that you get. With this product. What's nice about it too is you can actually take just a little wet trowel and just smooth it over and you see it will be very, very, uh, leave it nice and smooth. Now, again, for cases where you have spalling, you're going to be working overhead. You can take the product again, use a little bit of it, and wet the surface. Again, just to fill in the pores. And you can hang this down about six inches. Overhead, you're going to be packing it. Here, I'm just kind of clumping it together and making it about four or five inches in length to show you that it's not going to sag or come down on it. Now, what I'm going to do is just smash this down there. I'm going to attach it to the bottom of this. And we're going to come back in 24 hours and check the adhesion. You're going to be packing it overhead, so you're going to be using a little force. Again, this, sheet, this concrete block is just for demonstration purposes. And I'm going to do one more spot. And again, I'm going to wet the surface. Like I said, almost it's almost like self-priming, okay, like this here. You can really pack this thing, and it stays pretty uniform. There we go, we're going to plant, plant that in there. And you see it's going to stay. Okay, so we're going to come back here in about 24 hours. I'm going to get to lengthen this just a little bit underneath here, a little bit longer. And Steve is going to keep filling this for one second. I'm just going to whip my fingertips. And actually come back, and if you get a little bit closer, you can just go ahead and just with a wet trowel, just kind of smooth it out. If aesthetically you want a nice, smooth finish, okay? So just giving you an idea. The product is very easy to work with. Thank you. Get the red. you know, this is the second day um, where the product is cured, 24 hours later. We actually did this yesterday around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And this, is, this stands about 2 and a half inches high. This is about 6 and a quarter. And I'm going to go ahead and put a hammer to so you guys can see the adhesion. And I, and I have Steve come over here. I want you to see that it's actually taking 
the aggregate off the concrete block. Okay. This one stands six and a half or six and a quarter inches high. And I'm hitting the block to show you how durable this is. Again, I want you to see the aggregate that came off and how durable this is while I'm hitting it with, uh, with a hammer. Now this is the piece that's hanging and I'm going to see if I can knock this off. You can see how durable the concrete is, but I'm trying to... And again, I just want to show you the evidence of the adhesion. Okay. And there you go. Thank you.